So someone asked in the comments, um, basically how I choose my spots to take uh, wildlife shots and uh, well obviously we don't always go in the uh, prerequisite hide at um, nature reserves. Uh, we do try and find unique locations which are good for photography or uh, areas that we've spotted that are particularly good. Now we're just coming up to one of the spots which um, used to be a little bit hidden but they've opened it out um, so uh, I presume they don't mind me showing you this particular spot but it's just mid lake it's just mid between the top lake it's uh, up from Brockbank Lake and uh, anyway quick flip you around show you what I mean so um, <clears throat> yeah we're just off the path here and let's uh, say so this used to be a more secluded spot but they have opened it out a bit yeah, so I had the 600mm train from this spot yesterday set up on the tripod and the gimbal head and I was able to get uh, <clears throat> I was able to get the Kingfisher flying across the lake towards the uh, bottom left hand corner because I know they normally end up in the bottom left hand corner but it's getting to know your area and um, getting to know the flight paths particularly of the birds in question so uh, yeah, I mean there's still an element of luck involved but um, yeah, this was one spot I would pick as a uh, alternative to a hide situation. And then uh, we'll go on down the road a bit further and I'll show you another sort of spot that um, I would go for as well. We actually choose a location just a little bit further down the road from the hide. We're going for the uh, fisherman's pontoon. I uh, particularly like the fisherman's pontoons here at Lamford Lakes, um, mainly because they don't fish very often. There's not very f many fish in the lake and they don't occupy them too much. So regularly you get this sort of little spot here, this little gem. And uh, yeah, so not only do you get a spectacular view of the lake, but also you get this pontoon which is specifically built for fishermen and look they've even put a stall here for us and I can hear a kingfisher flying across now so you may have noticed on Camilla and I there was one item we didn't leave home without today and that was the German army mat. Don't forget to see my, uh, when you've watched this video, watch my review of the German army mat because these are easy to deploy in the field. So he's struggling with one hand. But then on Camilla and I, we like to get down low. And uh, yeah, come down here camera. It's, um, yeah, we like to get low um, and it's absolutely vital. Just a sec. Let's get down lower. Camera's not pulling me down. Morning. Morning. Yeah, lovely spot. Ah, uh, the little blue one. Yeah, we only got the one. Yeah, it's um, it's uh, yeah, there must be all five or six around. Particularly first thing in the morning, uh, this side of the lake. Then they tend to go over the other side of the lake when everybody turns up. So, uh, you know, I was able to get a shot yesterday. Haven't got one today, but uh, yeah, yesterday. Yeah, brilliant. Anyway, good luck, good luck. Yes, as you know, if you follow Camilla and I, we like to get down low. So a German army mat is superb. And that's why these pontoons come into play in particular at Lanford Lakes. So uh, it's a good reserve because not every reserve has something close to the uh, water, water level as this. The water level is about oh, three foot below the pontoon at the moment, but uh, in winter it can be right up to the level of the pontoon almost. And that's when we get the shots of, for example, this uh, great crested grebe, which I'll link to here, which is uh, taken from, I don't think it was this very pontoon, but it was certainly one on this side that the fishermen use. And um, yeah, I was able to stealthily get into position, lay the mat out, and then uh, fortunately this great crested green came into uh, view and uh, got the resulting shot 
um, you get a far more engaging shot with a low level perspective. So uh, yeah, that's why we particularly like Lamford Lakes. Here we have another little area, which is uh, very good. This particular area we're on to route to is normally occupied by a fisherman because uh, it's a little peninsula that juts out right into the lake. But again, there's a full platform for the uh, fishing gear. And indeed, many times we've taken advantage of this spot so yeah, well it's quite an obvious spot really, I mean uh, you'd have to be a bit blind not to uh, notice this one, but uh, yeah, this spot directly overlooks a reed bed on the left hand side and uh, excellent backdrop, particularly when it's uh, gone all golden in the uh, late autumn and uh, winter, you get a golden backdrop and that's where I got the shots of the uh, that's where I got the shots of the cormorant taking off with the golden background behind 